Uh, welcome to our Clean Water Conference. Um, today we'll be discussing uh, clean water applications, some of uh, our customers and partners, their applications, and we have a number of uh, presentations to go through. That will be presentation um, by company WES, which is located in Poland. And uh, for some reasons, I uh, will be uh, presenting that on behalf of the company WES. So that presentation um, is about replacing electromagnetic flow meters with clamp-on solutions for network monitoring. So, company WES um, is um, operating within water and wastewater markets, um, covering applications of, um, in water energy, adding to that um, um, solutions like SCADA, GIS, monitoring, measurement, controlling. Um, they do audits um, for optimization of water supply systems. They also add to the measurement systems the telemetry transmission. They are um, allowing um, the customers to access the data through the web portals. They also do modeling and management of water supply system and sewage systems. So in, uh, in a water market, we are going to talk about uh, mainly the measurement and in that case we will cover water meters, um, clamp on water meters um, used in the um, uh, metering zones. Uh, WES is a um, quite young company, it was found three years ago but they have already a lot of um, experience and references from the key players on the Polish market from the water business. Of course, the values of WES is to think uh, innovative, um, be ahead of the client's needs and build um, high quality relations. Um, like to talk about two projects in which WES used um, clamp-on meters. First of them was uh, a project in Przemysl. This is a city in the southeast part of Poland and uh, WES was a sub uh, constructor uh, responsible for delivery, installation and commissioning the zone metering of the Przemysl agglomeration in the water supply network. So the project consists of the 51 measuring points where nine of these points were covered by a clamp-on TFX 5000 ultrasonic meters. As you can see here, um, these are meters uh, already in use. Um, uh, they were installed in a cabinet outside um, while the sensors on the pipes were installed um, underground in the chambers. So the main problems um, client had was, first of all, the old water network where some parts of that network were coming from 19th century. Um, the meters were installed on pipes ranging from DN300 up to DN600. All of the meters were zone meters. Um, at the beginning of the project, a uh, customer wanted to have a full bore battery mag meters um, due to difficulties in access to power supply. Again, these old um, pipes were customers' concern um, and that brought a high risk of failure if the inline meters were about to be installed. 
then they faced potential downtime. And again, that was a very highly um, likely uh, a risk factor. So after considering all cons and pros regarding that project, they decided to go with a clamp-on solution. So these are photos from the installation um, and um, there was um, a situation uh, which occurred in that project um, that right after one of the chamber were installed, the customer has decided to move that measuring point to the other location just after they dig out the, the hole and, and, and mounted the, um, the chamber. Now, thanks to the clamp-on technology, um, this required only to move the flow meter with a cabinet and move that plastic chamber to the new location. And then again, that would be something impossible to, to be done with inline meter already installed at this stage. And then again, that proves that the clamp-on solution minimizes downtime and it's very flexible when expected conditions um, occur. WEX um, faced some unexpected difficulties and, and challenges. And again, clamp-on solutions were um, a factor which minimized these um, challenges. Um, there were some restrictions related to the COVID epidemic, um, difficult weather conditions because the project started in the in the in the summer when, when there was a very hot, and then again um, they ended the project during a winter time when it was again very cold. And again, um, the installation of the clamp-on solution is very quick, um, and um, it doesn't need much time to install the meter and commission the meter. And then again, within these harsh conditions, can be done very quickly. Here you can see um, on the left picture when we have that green area and this pink area and you can see in the middle a point marked P32. That's the measuring point where the clamp on meter is installed in that location and green and pink area these are metering zones in between the meter is operating. Of course um, for those who doesn't know um, bear in mind that the meter can work in both directions. So even if we will have unexpected um, backflow or there is a flow in two directions, we can indicate that as well as measure that with the same accuracy as in the forward direction. So this is again very useful um, function of the of the meter. So in the end, results and advantages for client was to be able to divide their network into zones and apply, apply zone balancing. They could monitor the network in an ongoing basis, and also they could quickly detect failures in the water supply network. And of course, the main factor was to reduce water loss. The second project was uh, that with our um, clamp-on solution, uh, and I want to share that with you, was a project in Poznań, which is again a northwest part of Poland. Um, so in that project, WES is a main contractor responsible for the complete process of the test. In that test, uh, we used two measuring points where we used um, fixed and portable solution of um, budget meter, ultrasonic meters, which was uh, PFX 5000 and uh, DXN. So locations were uh, two chambers um, on uh, each side of the river bank. Um, so the measuring points were separated apart um, several hundreds of meters. Um, the pipe material um, were PEHD, GRP, cast iron, ranging from DN700 up to 800 millimeters. 
there wasn't any available power supply at that point so we used then uh, their uh, battery solution as you can see here on the one side of the of the riverbank uh, we used a um, portable meter um, as you can see the meter um, is connected to the battery and that test uh, lasts for seven days um, on the other side we used a stationary um, clamp-on meter tfx 5000 and also this is a nice representation of our software which is called SoloQ, which is um, very helpful in terms of commissioning um, and installing the meter. It allows you to do the job very quickly. So you can observe the signal strength, the measurements um, in the real time. So I need to mention that the location to install that meter were very difficult. We couldn't um, secure the ideal condition for the clamp on meter which is typically 10 diameters upstream and five diameters downstream of a straight run of the pipe so despite um, that fact that that was not ideal location the measurement results proved the effectiveness of this method in that application so to show you how accurate and how satisfied the customer was, I would like to describe these graphs. So on the bottom right graph, you saw the cycles of the pump operation. Um, so you can see this orange and the blue graph completely um, covering um, each other. And these um, differences you see at the top of the um, maximum values are due to the non-ideal condition. So there was some difference between um, the measurements the meter shows, but again, the most important thing is even at non-ideal condition with a clamp-on meter, you can expect um, little worse accuracy but the meter will be repeatable. And this application um, clearly show um, what was happening in that line. So imagine we have a several hundred of meters of pipe and so two meters at both ends of that pipes are installed and showing exactly the same um, con condition. I mean, we could of course calibrate those meters in terms to show the correct uh, values the same values but that wasn't the case i mean the customer wanted to test the meters and test that um, technology so in the end the decision was made to go with clamp on solution rather to install um, i think in the end it will be 12 or 16 meters now you can imagine to install 12 Mac meters DN700, where the cost of the installation would, 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 would be much more higher than the meter itself. So we proved with a clamp-on meter effectiveness and um, great results um, and minimizes the cost and downtime of the installation. So, um, as I said, the advantages were um, that the ultrasonic flow meters are suitable as the measuring devices for the monitoring, even in the tightness of the sewage pipelines under the river, but under specific conditions. How and where they should prepare actual measuring points, that was another information to the customer, how to prepare to use that technology and uh, also what kind of power supply for monitoring systems should they provide. So I hope that um, shows you clearly how good that um, technology is and how we can install that in a quick uh, manner, of, manner of time. So um, the results also were to use the clamp-on solution technology to significantly simplify the installation and um, of 
course, um, especially during uh, these times, um, to get affordable price um, and uh, think about um, economic um, factors uh, using that uh, technology and which is also no less um, accurate than the MAC meters. Thank you very much. And again, if uh, some of you are coming from Poland, feel free to contact company Wes, uh, Mr. Jerzy Rogowski, uh, who is a technical director, and he would be very happy to help you with your applications.